So me and Joe have broken out of the AHDB conference thing, leadership conference, which is really good. And we're just gonna go and see David up the road. So remember in September when we did this circle of influence thing in Stra uh, not Stratford, that's where I am now. Stonely Park, well, we called on David and this field had just been sown. Now, look at the difference. But look how dry it is. It's like, look at that immaculate field of wheat. Hopefully it's not too windy, but look how green and amazing his wheat looks. I'm sure he's been out manicuring it. It looks that well, it looks like AstroTurf. Is that the biggest tract you've ever seen, Joe? <laughs> Get on the straw below. Right, here's a, here's a quiz question for you. So we've got uh, top down there, uh, rapid drill here, the NZ, which is an extreme sort of springtime carbon feet on it. Got another Vaddy top down there, got this Quattro, another Vaddy drill here, and a carrier. Anyway, there's two things in this shed, other than the quad tracks that don't match. What are they? It's obviously this, because it's not made by Madison. And the Sumo, whereas everything else in here is made by Madison. But um, just a shed full of tillage equipment. <laughs> The legs on this tungsten carbide auto reset so if it hits a big stone and flicks back well that big ram there will make it flick back if it hits a big stone so this is david's machinery shed it's, um, it's a bit like our sumo really you've got like leg and then this and a packer but it's got like an, an extra set of discs on the front of it as well, just to chop it a little bit before it goes through its first legs. And it's obviously one of his drills and the other one's there. They're all hitched up, ready to go on the back of the quad track. Go there on this way, you'll see better. There you go. Right, I'm on a case 135. It's on 5,670 hours. It is, well, like everything, David's got absolutely immaculate. Look at the cab, how clean it is. I'm driving it in my in me best pants. And I still feel like I might get the cab dirty, not my pants dirty. So guess the age of it. I'll go around the back and show you a bit more of it. Joe's even filming it as well. Got the gear stick absolutely perfect. There you go. You've barely even worn the paint off the steps, David. <laughs> but the the wheels have been touched up. I do it. Right, I'm not going to show you the reg. So you can't guess the age, but you've got. What's missing? The hitch. What's missing? <laughs> yes, yeah, so go on. How old do you think this is? If you think you know? Leave a comment. It's so shiny. Also, what what's missing then? Looks a bit boring. Playing at the back. I don't know what it is. Just took the mirror arms off to be fabricated. Oh yeah, yeah. Of course. There we go. The seat is immaculate because it's got a seat cover on it. Uh, yeah, so we've just been to Davies then, had a bit of a mooch round. Uh, his wheat is looking outstanding as well as everything else on his farm, immaculately polished. So we're just heading back into Stratford now, which tonight we're going to do a live circle of influence, influence. which is just so cringe worthy. So we, I think we should call it the Circle C O I. So I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna do a live video tonight. What's the what's the topic tonight, Joe? Do you know? Um, leadership. But I think it's um, that you don't have to be like at the top of the corporate tree or whatever to be a leader. It's like everybody can be a leader. 
basically. Yeah, yeah everyone can sort of like... A, a, in your role. Yeah, anyone can show other people how to do anything really or even if it's just like, right, we're having a brew and they walk across the yard and you're all walk across the yard and you're having a brew. That's leadership, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. So there we go. Yeah, so you want to tune in tonight at 8 o'clock on, I think we're going to try and stream it on here and also on the AHDB channel. But they'll be streaming it as well out through there. If the Wi-Fi works properly, which it should do because they booked the room to do it from. But I don't know whether my that's Wi-Fi their issue. Work. Yeah, that's their issue, <laughs> not ours yet. So yeah, we're just going back there now to uh, get ready for it. You see the sun coming down, that's why it's squinting. And look, still got a big red mark, so don't rub your eyes when you've got How can skin. you rub a red mark into that? I just, like went, I just went like that, but I did it with two hands and I like squashed the middle of my nose and it did it. <laughs> anyway, so Joe met um, someone yesterday, who <laughs> we were named later, and said yep. that Joe's accent sounds thick. <laughs> so who We're thinks just... the Barnsley accent sounds... And then, and then <laughs> after that, she said something about a circle of influence, and I said, oh yes, I'm the thick one, aren't I? And she said, well, you're a bit up yourself, saying that you think you're the fit one. I'm like, well, I am compared to all this, so. But yeah, she thought you said, <laughs> but you meant the thick one. But I meant the thick one. So there we go. Oh. Yeah, anyway, so check it out, eight o'clock in a bit. Anyway, here is the outro, uh, that is the birthday bumper that Ian's done. Look at the amount as well, well over 25,000 now, absolutely amazing. Thank Ian's you. a legend as well, by the way. He's had a shave. And he looks a different man, doesn't he? Yeah, he doesn't look like Terry Waite anymore. Who does he look like now? Leave a comment below, <laughs> let's see who we think Ian looks like. Anyway, thanks Ian and thanks Rob and Andrew for holding the photo and my dad for sorting out the wood chip boiler because that's, that's his favourite job. So back to the farm tomorrow and normal business will be resumed. So thanks for watching, I'll see you tomorrow. Business. <laughs> I've been waiting half an hour to do this. But the chipper's working and he won't turn it off. He must be too happy. <laughs> Today we have Cameron Spicy, Hudson News 28. Ben Brindley is 40. Chris Ackley is 15. Uh, one year to go, Chris. I'd stay 15 if I was you. Chris Germany is 63. Harry Hastings is 10. Alain Paris is 37. And Stephen Ackerstacks, happy birthday to you. We've got so far 25,613 pounds. Rob's coming over to say hello. Happy birthday. <laughs> Sorry about the noise. <laughs> Look at this. So Andy's made his own clothing brand, Crazy Bull Clothing. Nothing to do with me, it's all Andy's. Look at that though, how cool is that? Check. It's on the collar as well. Look. Mm -hmm. Check it out on uh, Joe's channel, I presume. Yeah, um, I don't know if he started selling them yet, but oh. <laughs> yeah, check him out. In fact, just 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 harass him on TikTok. I think he's on Crazy Bull Clothing on TikTok. So that's yeah. Andy that works for Joe. But don't forget, if you just want a hoodie, they're still available on my website. Give Ian something to do while I've not been there. Agricontract. Dot com. com. Yeah, dot com. Yeah. Right. There we go. Look at that beast there. The high look. Cool, oh yeah. Okay, the steps we can see. So that's the other ones in Navarra, is it? Must be a uh, some sort of cruise going on or something. <laughs> 